Hey, what's up? Chaz here. We're in Antwerp, Belgium. It's snowing and we are getting ready to visit all of the teams that are racing the Tour of Flanders. I've got Jason Phillips who leads the SRAM racing team. We've got Sam and Carlo. And what's the plan today, my man? We're going to visit, uh, well, right here, Movistar and then uh, Canyon SRAM Racing and uh, SD Work. <laughs> This is the team that supports all of the Pro Tour racing, and right now they're gearing up for Flanders, so we're gonna check tire pressure, we're gonna help them with everything else, and we're gonna see how pro teams get ready for the race. Let's check it out. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, 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 <laughs> like, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments and we'll have these guys answer them, so let's go check it out. Teams are all pretty much fully self-sufficient here with their with their big race trucks where they're They've got everything they need, like uh, a mini service course, basically. And um, yeah, so every day they get they prep the bikes. The guys go training, do a recon of the course. Um, same with the with the with the women's teams, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's a bit of a routine every day building up to the big event. What do you usually help the teams with when you come when you come do this? When you come yeah, visit so the when teams? Like at uh, races like Flanders or Classic, we help them like uh, with the tire pressure mainly. Uh, it's uh, you know it's like a big deal, especially now when we're talking about uh, low pressure. Uh, so we have tire width, uh, so it's a cool tool. You can you can have a look at your uh, pressure. Uh, the team is riding actually on uh, Garmin head units, and so it just gives it like uh, the possibility to have all the, to collect all the data. So you can display on your uh, head unit. You can see directly live, uh, but also you can see sometimes afterwards, depending on the head units you're using. You can collect the data, as I said, like Movistar is uh, riding on Garmin head unit. They collect all the data. We uh, you know, we check them out, we see, we can suggest like a tire pressure depending like on the graphic. So you too can use the Access Web Tool, just like Carlo is helping these Pro Tour riders. You can figure out your baseline tire pressure using the Access Web Tool based on your tire size, your, your rider weight, and the type of riding you're going to do. And this is a perfect way to start entering into the tubeless, hookless technology, riding lower pressures, and having a smoother ride. You follow the whole tour, because right, this is a one day event, so we're checking on all the teams before the big day, but for something like that, it's 21 days of racing, you follow the teams the whole way. No, not not, not the whole way. We, we're always there for an extended period at the start of the race to make sure everything's good. And then um, there's two rest days during the during a standard Grand Tour, and we're, we're there for, for, for maybe three days over, over the rest day sort of time. And... Um, yeah, so not, not the whole three weeks, or it's really four weeks uh, a race like that because of the, the preparation before and, you know, getting away after. We are at the Canyon SRAM. They did a recon today, uh, checked out some different parts of the, uh, of the course that they hadn't seen yet. There's some new sections uh, on the women's race this year, and then uh, in the Cotton Bird and Wow, nice one. I need to work out how to get from yeah. oh, this one. So you're the head mechanic? Yeah, I'm the only one. The only one. <laughs> <laughs> the only mechanic. We are at uh, SD Works. We're in the, pretty close to the center of Ghent here. And uh, SD Works um, yeah, has been the number one women's team in the world for about the last five or six years. And um, yeah, they've got some big guns to play in this uh, race. So yeah, let's go check it out. Let's check it out. This bike's a little different than uh, all the other bikes we have for Flanders. What, what's up with it? Uh, this is their traditional road race bike. So this is something that they would use on, you know, with these wheels particularly, a flat, flat road stage, you know, super fast um, with the Aero 4x4 and SW wheels. Okay, so we're here with the SRAM racing team. We've got Jason, Sam, and Carlo. They spent the last couple days checking in with all the different teams, making sure they're ready to go, talking with the mechanics and the racers, making sure that everything dialed, and now the work is done? Not really. We're work is be, never done. We're gonna be on, uh, on some Pave sectors. You know, we usually do three or four sectors. We'll have wheels, bottles, and uh, you know, motivational support for our for uh, Canyon SRAM and uh, movie star. 
today. So um, yeah, we're looking forward for a great race. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it for uh, so showing me around. We're gonna let him get down to business. Make sure to like, subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Till next time, making, making you faster. faster. Yeah. <laughs>